Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be diving into the world of note-taking and knowledge management by comparing two different popular tools, Joplin and Obsidian. Both Joplin and Obsidian have gained significant attention in recent years due to their powerful features and robust capabilities. For this video, we will explore what Joplin and Obsidian are, highlight their key features, as well as ultimately determine which tool might be better suited for your specific needs. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, what is Joplin? Joplin is a free and open source note-taking application which focuses on providing a simple yet powerful experience. It supports a wide range of platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. Joplin utilizes the Markdown syntax which allows for easy formatting and organizing of notes. And that's the basics of Joplin, but let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper and learn more about Joplin's key features. One of Joplin's key features is its synchronization. Joplin offers synchronization across multiple devices using services like Dropbox, OneDrive, and WebDAV, which makes it easier to keep your notes always up to date. Another key feature of Joplin is its end-to-end -end encryption. Security conscious users will appreciate Joplin's support for end-to-end -end encryption, which keeps their sensitive information quite safe. Joplin also has tagging and notebooks. Joplin allows you to categorize your notes using tags and notebooks, which makes it easier to organize and find information within your notes. Joplin also has a web clipper feature. With Joplin's web clipper, you can save web pages directly to your notes, capturing valuable information from the web effortlessly. Joplin also provides a powerful search functionality, which allows you to quickly locate specific notes or filter them based on various criteria. And that's pretty much Joplin. Now let's take a look at Obsidian. What is Obsidian exactly? Similar to Joplin, Obsidian is also another note-taking application that has gained popularity among knowledge workers and researchers. It's built on the idea of creating a network of interconnected thoughts, leveraging the power of plain text files. Obsidian is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and it has a strong focus on local file storage. Some of Obsidian's key features include a markdown and backlinking. Obsidian utilizes markdown and emphasizes the concept of backlinks, which allows you to connect notes to create a web of interconnected ideas. Obsidian also has a graph view, which is one of Obsidian's standout features. It provides a visual representation of the relationships between your notes helping you to see connections and patterns within your database. Obsidian also has quite a lot of customization and plugin options. It has an extensive suite of customization, including themes, CSS snippets, and the ability to extend functionality with community-developed plugins. Obsidian also has a publish and share feature. With Obsidian Publish, you can easily share your notes with others by generating a website that others can access, enabling collaboration and knowledge sharing. Obsidian also has daily notes and to-do lists. Obsidian includes a built-in daily notes feature and supports the creation of to-do lists, making it an excellent choice for users who value productivity and organization. Now that we've explored the key features of both Joplin and Obsidian, let's compare them to help you determine which one might be better for you. First, let's talk about ease of use. Joplin offers a more straightforward and intuitive interface, which makes it a bit more accessible for users of all levels of experience. Now let's talk about their customization. While yes, Joplin does provide some customization options, 
they are a bit more limited compared to Obsidian. When it comes to customization, Obsidian shines, allowing users to tailor the app to their specific needs through themes, CSS snippets, as well as plugins. Now let's take a look at their differences when it comes to collaboration and sharing. Joplin's collaboration features are relatively limited, and sharing notes with others can be a bit challenging. Obsidian, meanwhile, excels in collaboration and sharing, in no small part due to its published feature, which enables easy sharing of notes and fostering collaborative knowledge building. Speaking of collaborativeness, let's take a look at both apps' interconnectedness and note relationships. Joplin offers basic note linking and tagging, but it lacks the advanced backlinking and graph view features found in Obsidian. Obsidian's backlinking and graph features allow users to visualize connections between notes, facilitating a deeper understanding of their knowledge base. And that's pretty much it for the differences between the tools. In conclusion, both Joplin and Obsidian are quite powerful note-taking applications with very unique features. After comparing the key features of both Joplin and Obsidian, it's pretty clear that both tools offer unique advantages. Joplin excels in its simplicity, cross-platform compatibility, and hierarchical organization, making it a more solid choice for users seeking a straightforward note-taking experience. On the other hand, Obsidian's strength lies in its interconnectedness, bidirectional linking, and flexibility, which makes it an excellent choice for users who want to prioritize the knowledge management and web-like thinking. Ultimately, the best choice between the two depends on your specific preferences and note-taking needs. That may be the case, but it is worth trying out both tools to see which one aligns better with your workflow as well as your note-taking style. Remember, the most effective tool is the one that helps you capture, organize, and retrieve your ideas effortlessly. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope this comparison has helped you to gain a better understanding of both Joplin and Obsidian. Let us know in the comments below which one you prefer or if you have any questions. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more productivity related content. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay organized and productive.